Okay, today is Wednesday, March 27th, and once again, I'm still following up with the Northern Station. It's amazing. I believe if you look at the videos, you will note that the last time I was told by Lieutenant Fatu to come in was at the end of February. It's now the end of March, and I think if you've been looking at the videos in the interim, you've seen where I've continued to follow up and not been responded to or any of those situations. What I'd like to bring forward today is just the continuation of not only bad process, but no accountability, no humanity, no morality, and naturally, no consequence. Uh, as direct proof, let me show you an article that was in the Examiner today. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get a focus. You know, my eyesight is bad. A lot of things are bad. But anyway, it says the Examiner SF Examiner, Wednesday, March 27th, 2013, and this is on page four, and it talks about ousted doctor settles with city, the story of Derek Kerr, and all that he had to face, you know, going against the city attorney, um, the hospital administration, DPH, etc., etc. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, the entire system is rigged. It's justice for the rich. You know, when justice costs, we've all lost. And that's basically what it boils down to, because if you're poor, and I think you've been noticing what's been going on with me, and of course, naturally, the bullshit civil Gideon from David Chu's office, the non-help from the San Francisco Bar Association, I mean, the list just goes on and on. Anyway, uh, let me read this article to you, and it basically says, whistleblower was axed after complaints. Okay, Laguna Hospital, Laguna Honda Hospital will never be able to forget Derek Kerr ever. In addition to the $750,000 cash payout, the former hospital physician whose 21 years of service at the city's long-term care hospital ended with a layoff after he filed a whistleblower complaint alleging misuse of a patient gift fund will be honored with a plaque commemorating his services to be installed at the hospital. Uh, let us not forget that I, too, have filed whistleblower complaints, and I have them in my file if you'd like to see the risk management I received in those complaints. Okay, let me continue to read. In addition, he'll be publicly lauded by the same officials who allegedly retaliated against him. I mean, that just makes everything so much better. Oh, you did so good in fighting this for so long. And, oh, and, and let me continue to read, so you'll continue to see the entire picture. The agreement was uh, set in a settlement approved Tuesday by the Board of Supervisors, the officials alleged to have orchestrated his ouster in response to speaking up, including Hospital Executive Administrator Mivik Hiroshi, I don't want to mispronounce things, must also receive an hour's worth of training on whistleblowing and First Amendment rights. Oh, what a penalty! Oh, what a consequence! They ruined the man's life, you know, they're not accountable, and all they have to do is an hour worth of, you know, being slapped on the wrist, and of course, they're not going to lose any pay, they're not going to be promoted, nothing of this kind. And let's not forget that this is all, you know, comes up to ethics and morals, and let's continue to read so you'll see what the Ethic Commission does regarding these kinds of things. Kerr said he felt vindicated, feels vindicated by the settlement, and that his professional reputation has been restored thanks to the settlement. I don't feel joyful, he says. Boy, do I know that feeling. They should have, they should never have driven me out, and I should never have had to sue the city. It's a lose-lose situation. Sort of like my situation in which I sued the city. They had my case, you know, tossed on, you know, bogus, fraudulent, you know, subterfuge, and then only to sign a confession four years later. Lose-lose. Yes, the confession signed by DPH, which of course is the continuation of why I'm continuing to be treated this way, because they can never admit, they can, you know, the, the, the demigods are above reproach. Next paragraph. Current is fellow physician Maria Rivero lost their jobs in the hospital's hospice unit in 2010 after they filed complaints alleging that donations to the patient gift fund were instead spent on hiring staff for the hospital connected nonprofit in a possible conflict of interest and on a capital improvement. Kerr received his layoff notice one day after the city commission's the city ethics commission received his complaint. I'd love to fi file the follow up on the ethics commission receiving the complaint and see how that was mismanaged away. Next paragraph, he filed a lawsuit in 2010 in an interview <coughs> Tuesday, Deborah Cochran, Kerr's attorney, 
said that the non-monetary terms of the settlement are above and beyond typical settlements. Would that be like my above and beyond settle settlement with the OIG regarding the DPH, the only one of its kind which has an admission of fault and guilt and liability? Hmm, I wonder. Next paragraph. Whistleblower complaints are supposed to be investigated by the City Ethics Commission, but like her and R Rivero, other city whistleblowers have gone to the courts to resolve their cases. And that is because the Ethics Commission doesn't work. Uh, it's, 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 it's a lovely set up risk management shield. Shield. S H I L L. Next paragraph. A pair of emergency dispatchers received 762,000 settle settlement in summer of 2012 after they claim retaliation following complaints about lax working environments. You know, it's just continues to go on. None of the officials alleged in the lawsuit to have orchestrated Kerr's ousters lost their jobs or were otherwise disciplined. Please, please, let me repeat that once again just to show you why it doesn't work. All righty. None of the officials alleged in the lawsuit to have orchestrated Kerr's ouster lost their jobs or were otherwise disciplined. That sends a message, said Kerr, who says his medical practice is over so they can ruin your life. $750,000, isn't it beautiful? He is, insist, ins, he is instead dedicating his time to advocating for other whistleblowers. You can destroy someone's career and the city will never protect you. Well, no, that's not true. That If you work for the city, like DPH, you know, or any of the other people who have not, you know, been doing their duties, you will be protected by the city attorney. There is a problem, a glitch somewhere, he said, if whistleblowers can be retaliated against and, and complaints are buried. Neither the Department of Public Health, which oversees Lugana Honda Hospital, nor the city attorney's office, which negotiated the settlement, responded to requests for comments on Tuesday. Surprise, surprise, surprise. That would be just like the city attorney not responding, you know, to the fact that I was, you know, illegally 5150 in my deposition, you know, 10 years ago, whatever the case may have been, for me following up on the denial of emergency services. Of course, like I said, they had that case thrown out of court which was uh, CO23485PJH, uh, only to sign a settlement agreement slash confession four years later through the Office of Inspector General. Shall we continue with the lesson today regarding, you know, what does and does not work? Anyway, let me pull out my notes regarding, you know, my continually following up with the Northern Station so that we can go from there. All right. Uh, on 319, I spoke with Officer Young. Ms. Fatu is not in today. On 320, I spoke with PSA Tizan. Lieutenant Fatu is not in all day. On 321, I spoke with PSA Tizan. Lieutenant Fatu not in today. On 322, I spoke with PSA Tizan. Lieutenant not in today. Um, I asked him to leave another message. Uh, 323, PSA Tizan. Lieutenant Fatu is not in all day. Monday, 325, PSA Marenko. Uh, not in today, Lieutenant Fatu. Let us continue. I mean, I want you to see that the problem is not me. Okay, now yesterday, uh, I, 326, I spoke with PSA Marenko, Lieutenant Fatu. She's not going to be in today. All right, so here we go. Let us continue to prove that it's just rigged to fail. Now, mind you, it's been over a month now, and I still, you know, and this is the month, you know, it was the end of February she told me to come back. Hello, hello, hello. Still continuing to follow up with Lieutenant Fatu. Okay. Is she here today? Yeah, she's, not in today. she's not in today. Well, isn't it amazing? I mean, I'm, you know, I've been calling for like the last week and a half, two weeks. I've been leaving consistent messages. Uh, when will, you know, the professionalism be responded back to me as far as... Okay, well, that wasn't an answer to my question. I'm, I'm, I'm asking when will the professional ethics and morality responsibilities of the police department be enforced as far as follow-up with me? You know, professional behavior. I'm not sure. You're not sure. Well, you know, I, I do appreciate the fact that, you know, I'm videotaping all this for YouTube to show that, of course, nothing works appropriately. No one is accountable. And today's date is Wednesday, March 27th. And you have no idea of when she'll be scheduled, and you'll leave another message for me, which of course won't be returned. And I'll be in next week to continue to videotape the farce. Okay. Actually, it's not, but I'm sure it has no effect on you. Well, 
thank you. I will continue to do everything right in the society where it doesn't matter. So, uh, now, if this goes on for much longer, who is above Lieutenant Fatih that I can, you know, escalate this to? Uh, they're captain of the station. Would that have been like Captain Mannix last time that I tried to escalate and got moved and never got back to me? Yeah, but she's not the captain of the station. Well, that was a beautiful response because they acknowledged not only that, you know, I tried, but and she never got back to me, but now there's a new captain. Yes, it doesn't mean that it's going to be a new and improved procedure. It just means that it's going to continue under a different facade. But thank you. I will continue. Thank you for that. Bye.